Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jason, or General, and today, guys, bringing you some more Infinite Warfare gameplay. This time on the map Terminal. But before I get in the gameplay, I just want to give a quick shout out to Activision for inviting us out to the event to record this gameplay. Call of Duty XP was a blast. I had a ton of fun there. Um, but this gameplay you're watching in the background here is a 36 kill TDM on the map Terminal. And we actually lose this game. Like, it's a super, super close game, and it goes into like the absolute last minute. I think the score was like 96 to 100. We end up losing, though, like I said. Um, which was really unfortunate, but, um, you know, I dropped 36 kills. I was, like, I think it was, like, three or four kills off the, um, the, like, mech dude that's in this game, which I actually got one of these on that really small map. I don't remember any of the map names outside of Terminal, but it was a really, it was the, probably the smallest map we played, and I got it on that map, and honestly, guys, like, kill streaks in this game just are, in my opinion, just really aren't that good. You know, they're kind of, they're, like, all, they're all right. But I just, I did not really think the killstreaks were that good. I just didn't think they really punched that hard. I got the Thor in this game as well, which is like an AC-130. It's it's like the um, the, the Loki, I think is what it's called, in uh, Ghost. But uh, it's like the orbital satellite thing, and then it like shoots down missiles and stuff. But I got one of those. The animations on is fucking awesome, first of all. But, like, it's just the splash damage on and everything just, just really wasn't that that good, honestly. So I was kind of disappointed in the killstreaks, but the weapons were amazing the the game itself was amazing i had a ton of fun playing this game but i want to talk a little bit about the gun i'm using here um or my favorite guns that i used in the build that we are playing first of all this is called the volk it's like it looks identical to the ak-47 it looks like almost it almost looks like and see i just failed right there it almost looks like a modified version of the ak-47 like an upgraded version of the ak-47 which is really cool about this game because like every gun i used like looked and felt like another gun, another gun from another Call of Duty. Like there was like some of the guns look like the P90, the Weevil, um, of course AK-47 here. Um, one of them looked like the, like the M4A1, um, but they they almost feel identical, which is really awesome because then you also have the classic weapons in this game. Which if you didn't know, the interventions coming back, um, but we couldn't see any other classic weapons that were in the. Uh, like classic weapons category so it's kind of cool that they have like modified versions and then they have the classic weapons but um i will say though that a lot of people were worried about these like plasma bullets and stuff a lot of people thought call of duty was turning into halo first of all the plasma bullets are they shoot they, they act like regular bullets right the guns that use these plasma bullets act like regular guns it, there's no like there's nothing crazy about these guns or these guns um they, they literally almost perform just like regular guns they reload the same, they've got kick, they've got recoil, so there's not really anything that people should be worried about. But this thing right here, this specialist is a monster. I really hope they do not change this because this thing is a beast. Um, I use this probably pretty much every game. I only use two specialists just because, like, I'm first of all, I'm not a huge fan of specialists, but um, the only ones I really use are the ones that will help me more towards getting my kill streaks and stuff. And that thing right there is just an absolute monster. Um, but yeah, so... That's really what I want to talk about in this game. Uh, this gameplay is just really like my favorite guns and just kind of like some overall thoughts on Infinite Warfare. Um, the other gun that I really liked, uh, which was an SMG, is the H or the FHR40, which is kind of like it kind of reminds me of like a P90. Um, it has a lot of bullets in its clip and kind of is a really good. S it's probably the best SMG honestly that I used. Um, but SMGs in this game really didn't didn't feel that good. I was not impressed by the SMGs. This is definitely an AR and a sniper game at least the build that we played so i'm hoping that they will change that for the the game come or the the full build i hope i hope that the smgs get a buff and i hope that the kill streaks get a buff but anyway guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and if you guys um could check out our sponsor uh bpi sports their link is going to be down in the description below as well anyway guys hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you all in the next video have a nice day guys bye